Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. So if you like this topic, please hit the like button and subscribe because I do new videos every week and I would love to see you here. And this week's topic is an interesting one and I think it's very, very important to keep in mind when you're doing energy work for people. So this year I really got into Bengston energy healing, which I love because it's equal parts manifesting, which is really fun. And it's extremely powerful as far as healing the physical body is concerned. I gravitated towards this type of healing because I heard Bill Bengston speak and he's done tons of research experiments in labs on mice and the evidence concludes that this is very successful in curing cancer and the cancer can't come back. My mom died of cancer, so I was really interested in learning how to cure it. And so I love doing this. Now, what I've noticed happens when you start really deepening into an energy practice is that there is so much need for healing. And in a matter of days, really, I suddenly had like 20 people I was image cycling on or doing the healing on. This particular modality is cool in that the more people you're sending energy to at once, the more powerful it is, the more effective it is. So like, yes, just tell me anybody who needs it. It's very easy. It's very fun to do the energy. But the thing that we all, I think, should keep in mind when we're doing healing work for other people is that we can't let our ego get in the way. And we also have to understand that in many cases, people's health will improve and they may not directly attribute it to our work or we may not know if they improve or not. And so to adapt the mindset of doing the healing from a place of just pure love and wanting them to get better, not needing any acknowledgement and not needing anything except to practice the work and to flow the love is a wonderful mindset to adapt. As much as we like to hear thanks and, and praise and gratification and all of that, it's really not about that. It's really about the practice of, again, unconditional love and flowing the energy and just hoping that it helps, not needing any anything out of it. But because our egos are so tricky, they can get in the way and make us think, you know, we need to hear it, the praise. And, and of course, the worst thing would be to get into a state of thinking that you yourself somehow are the powerful one doing the work, which is not the case. But we have to be very careful not to get into that and not to think, oh, it's because of me, you know? And to that end, I like the idea of thinking of any type of healing as a collective process. In my experience, for example, I'm a part of these healing groups. And so all together, a group of 20 or 30 of us will do healings for everybody. It's a collective group effort. I didn't talk about this much, but someone I love deeply, um, which is why I was really doing the work a lot this year, was diagnosed with cancer. So I jumped in three practice groups um, every week, doing the energy healing, practicing it every day. But also, everybody who loves him, they were all do, doing, you know, saying prayers, doing their own energy work. It was a group effort. His doctors and nurses we're doing the healing work. It was all of us together. And I think if we can really ease into that notion and understand and con collectively like congratulate one another in a group for the beautiful group work we're doing, I think that's the, the, the spot, like that's the place you wanna be in. That's the energy you wanna flow in because we are all one, collective consciousness. So there's no need for us to let the ego get in the way. You know what I mean? It's, again, thinking of it as a group effort. 
even on in the part of the person is being healed because they're open to receiving the healing and allowing it to happen. So they're co-creating the healing as well. So that's all I wanted to say about that. And I hope that that makes sense. So thank you so much for watching. That's it for now. And I'll see you next time.